So can you tell us a little bit about, about this camp and, and how it's different from, from last year's in Valencia? Yeah, um, well obviously last year we had the, uh, the camp over in Valencia which was just the Team Sky camp and um, we kind of reflected on that and we've been coming here for, with the British cycling team for 12 years, it's our 13th year that we'll be coming here and we've got a lot of, lots of information on roads, on climbs, and, you know, a huge amount of knowledge about the area and um, when we reflected back it just seemed um, that actually it would be a better thing, from, certainly from my point of view, to combine the GB team, the Olympic team and the pro cycling team together to make one single camp. So anybody who works across both sides of it could have to be in one place, we could improve the service and then just little improvements really. So for example we've got a team chef here, so we've taken the hotel over three, two and a half months. Um, we've got like a drop-in centre if you like, as against just a block of, we come in here for 10 days, everybody goes home, come back for 10 days, people can come and go when they want. Um, it facilitates better training. Uh, there's smaller groups training, so I think the actual workout is, you know, the, the, the rides are more specific to the individual, which is, which is better. And then, like, going back to my point about uh, the team starts chefs here, so he then cooks for the entire team, including the GB team, so the level of nutrition goes up for everybody. So there's, there's a whole host of benefits, and um, we decided to come here, and so far it's worked tremendously well. It must also be a good knock-on effect for some of the youngsters that are here to, to train with the likes of Brad. Right. Yeah, absolutely right. So we've got some of the younger teams, let's take Luke Rowe, for example, one of the academy riders, you know, here riding and rubbing shoulders with some of the guys he really looks up to, you know. He's got uh, sitting having breakfast, chatting away to Fletcher. is uh, very inspiring for a young lad like that. And I think it's, it's great to filter back down into the, into the juniors and, and the rest of the British cycling programme. How many individuals are involved? I think we've got, um, uh, well, obviously the whole of uh, Team Sky um, have probably been here at some point, apart from the lads who have been down in the tour down under. Um, and then we've got the entire men's Team Pursuit squad have been out. And the, this week we've got nine of the women's Team Pursuit squad as well. So all in all, I think there's about 25, 30 riders here now. But uh, yeah, pretty much anybody who's involved with endurance with British Cycling or Sky. Um, in terms of um, new personnel that have been added, a few on both the management side and uh, and the rider side. One ex-rider that's been added is um, Bobby Jurek. What does he bring to the party? He's, um, <clears throat> he's actually, you know, sometimes you get new people and they just fit really quickly. You just think they really have, you know, just you know, they just they just seems to click and work quick. And I think that's what's happened with Bobby. Um, We've obviously had this idea, we've, we've always come from a coaching based background, so we believe you get the best rider you get and you put them together with the best coach and that's the key sort of relationship that will take the, 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 the athletes or riders forward. So in, in our setup we had, uh, we want to differentiate between coaching and DSing. So the DS is actually start when the guys arrive at a race and they deliver the race tactically etc. But beforehand, in terms of getting the, the, the riders right and ready to race, that's a coaching job. So we had Rod Ellingworth, who is a race coach, and, and that's what he did last year and continues to do. But we wanted somebody else to come in to, to boost that side of what we do. So Bobby came in to, <coughs> to work with uh, Rod on that side of things, and he's fitted in terrifically well. You know, and, uh, so it's, yeah, it's, it's a nice combination. So you've got Rod and, and Bobby working very closely together. They then work very closely with the DSs as a group supported by the sports science and all the work that Tim Kerrison and his team do underneath to support the coaches. So it starts to take shape yeah. as we'd expected.